Marissa Ann Meyer is an American businesswoman and investor. She is an information technology executive and co founder of Sunshine Contact. Maya formerly served as the President and Chief Executive Officer of Yahoo, a position she held from July 2012. It was announced in January 2017 that she would step down from the company's board upon the sale of Yahoo's operating business to Verizon Communications for $4.8 billion. She would not join the newly combined company, now called Verizon Media, and announced her resignation on June 13, 2017. She is a graduate of Stanford University and was a longtime executive, usability leader, and key spokeswoman for Google. Chapter 1 Early Life Maya was born in Warsaw, Wisconsin, the daughter of Margaret Maya, an art teacher of Finnish descent, and Michael Maya, an environmental engineer who worked for water companies. Her grandfather, Clem Maya, had polio when he was seven and served as mayor of Jackson, Wisconsin for 32 years. She has a younger brother. She would later describe herself as having been painfully shy as a child and teenager. She never had fewer than one after-school activity per day, participating in ballet, ice skating, piano, swimming, debate, and brownies. During middle school and high school, she took piano and ballet lessons, the latter of which taught her criticism and discipline, poise, and confidence. At an early age, she showed an interest in math and science. Chapter 2 Education Chapter 2 Section 1 Warsaw West High School When she was attending Warsaw West High School, Maya was on the curling team and the precision dance team. She excelled in chemistry, calculus, biology, and physics. She took part in extracurricular activities becoming president of her high school's Spanish club, treasurer of the key club, captain of the debate team, and captain of the pom-pom squad. Her high school debate team won the Wisconsin state championship and the pom-pom squad was the state runner-up. During high school, she worked as a grocery clerk. After graduating from high school in 1993, Maya was selected by Tommy Thompson, then the governor of Wisconsin, as one of the state's two delegates to attend the National Youth Science Camp in West Virginia. Chapter 2 Section 2, Stanford University Intending to become a pediatric neurosurgeon, Maya took pre-med classes at Stanford University. She later switched her major from pediatric neuroscience to symbolic systems, a major which combined philosophy, cognitive psychology, linguistics, and computer science. At Stanford, she danced in the university ballet's Nutcracker, was a member of parliamentary debate, volunteered at children's hospitals, and helped bring computer science education to Bermuda's schools. During her junior year, she taught a class in symbolic systems, with Eric S. Roberts as her supervisor. The class was so well received by students that Roberts asked Maya to teach another class over the summer. Maya went on to graduate with honors from Stanford with a B.S. in Symbolic Systems in 1997, and an M.S. in Computer Science in 1999. For both degrees, her specialization was in Artificial Intelligence. For her undergraduate thesis, she built travel recommendation software that advised users in natural-sounding human language. Chapter 2 Section 3, Illinois Institute of Technology in 2009, the Illinois Institute of Technology granted Meyer an honoris causa doctorate degree in recognition of her work in the field of search. Meyer interned at SRI International in Menlo Park, California, and UBILAB, UBS's research lab based in Zurich, Switzerland. She holds several patents in artificial intelligence and interface design. Chapter 3 Career Chapter 3 Section 1 Google. After graduating from Stanford, Maya received 14 job offers, including a teaching job at Carnegie Mellon University, and a consulting job at McKinsey & Company. She joined Google in 1999 as employee number 20. She started out writing code and overseeing small teams of engineers, developing and designing Google's search offerings. She became known for her attention to detail, 
which helped land her a promotion to product manager, and later she became director of consumer web products. She oversaw the layout of Google's well-known, unadorned search homepage. She was also on the three-person team responsible for Google AdWords, which is an advertising platform that allows businesses to show their product to relevant potential customers based on their search terms. AdWords helped deliver 96% of the company's revenue in the first quarter of 2011. In 2002, Maya started the Associate Product Manager program, a Google mentorship initiative to recruit new talents and cultivate them for leadership roles. Each year, Maya selected a number of junior employees for the two-year program, where they took on extracurricular assignments and intensive evening classes. Notable graduates of the program include Brett Taylor and Justin Rosenstein. In 2005, Maya became Vice President of Search Products and User Experience. Maya held key roles in Google Search, Google Images, Google News, Google Maps, Google Books. Google Product Search, Google Toolbar, iGoogle, and Gmail. Maya was the Vice President of Google Search Products and User Experience until the end of 2010, when she was asked by then CEO Eric Schmidt to head the local, maps, and location services. In 2011, she secured Google's acquisition of survey sites Agat for $125 million. While Maya was working at Google, she taught introductory computer programming at Stanford and mentored students at the East Palo Alto Charter School. She was awarded the Centennial Teaching Award, and the Forsyth Award from Stanford. Chapter 3 Section 2, Yahoo! On July 16, 2012, Maya was appointed President and CEO of Yahoo!, effective the following day. She was also a member of the company's Board of Directors. At the time of her appointment, Yahoo's numbers had been falling behind those of Google for over a year and the company had been through several top management changes. To simplify the bureaucratic process and make the culture the best version of itself, Maya launched a new online program called PB&J. It collects employee complaints, as well as their votes on problems in the office, if a problem generates at least 50 votes, online management automatically investigates the matter. In February 2013, Maya oversaw a major personnel policy change at Yahoo that required all remote working employees to convert to in-office roles. Having worked from home toward the end of her pregnancy, Maya returned to work after giving birth to a boy, and built a mother's room next to her office suite, Maya was consequently criticized for the telecommuting ban. In April 2013, Maya changed Yahoo's maternity leave policy, lengthening its time allowance and providing a cash bonus to parents. CNN noted this was in line with other Silicon Valley companies, such as Facebook and Google. Maya has been criticized for many of her management decisions in pieces by the New York Times and the New Yorker. On May 20, 2013, Maya led Yahoo to acquire Tumblr in a $1.1 billion acquisition. In February 2016, Yahoo acknowledged that the value of Tumblr had fallen by $230 million since it was acquired. In July 2013, Yahoo reported a fall in revenues, but a rise in profits compared with the same period in the previous year. Reaction on Wall Street was muted, with shares falling 1.7%. In September 2013, it was reported that the stock price of Yahoo had doubled over the 14 months since Maya's appointment. However, much of this growth may be attributed to Yahoo's stake in the Chinese e-commerce company Alibaba Group, which was acquired before Maya's tenure. In November 2013, Maya instituted a performance review system based on a bell curve ranking of employees, suggesting that managers rank their employees on a bell curve, with those at the low end being fired. Employees complained that some managers were viewing the process as mandatory. In February 2016, a former Yahoo employee filed a lawsuit against the company claiming that Yahoo's firing practices have violated both California and federal labor laws. In 2014, Maya was ranked sixth on Fortune's 40 Under 40 list, and was ranked the 16th most powerful businesswoman in the world that year, according to the same publication. 
In March 2016 Fortune would name Meyer as one of the world's most disappointing leaders. Yahoo stocks continued to fall by more than 30% throughout 2015, while 12 key executives left the company. In December 2015, the New York-based hedge fund Spring Owl, a shareholder in Yahoo Incorporated, released a statement arguing that Meyer be replaced as CEO. Starboard Value, an activist investing firm that owns a stake in Yahoo, likewise wrote a scathing letter regarding Meyer's performance at Yahoo. By January 2016, it was further estimated that Yahoo's core business has been worth less than $0 for the past few quarters. In February 2016, Maya confirmed that Yahoo was considering the possibility of selling its core business. In March 2017, it was reported that Maya could receive a $23 million termination package upon the sale of Yahoo to Verizon. Maya announced her resignation on June 13, 2017. In spite of large losses in advertising revenue at Yahoo and a 50% reduction in staff during her five years as CEO, Maya was paid a total of $239 million over that time, mainly in stock and stock options. On the day of her resignation, Maya publicly highlighted many of the company's achievements during her tenure, including, creating $43 billion in market capitalization, tripling Yahoo stock, growing mobile users to over 650 million, building a $1.5 billion mobile ad business, and transforming Yahoo's culture. Over Maya's tenure, the number of monthly visits on Yahoo's home page went down from nearly 10 billion to less than 4.5 while Google's went up from 17 billion to over 56. At the time of Maya's hiring, Yahoo's numbers had already been falling behind those of Google's for over a year. However, Maya proved unable to reverse this trend. On the 8th of November 2017, along with several other present and former corporate CEOs, Maya testified before the United States Senate Committee on Commerce, Science, and Transportation regarding major security breaches at Yahoo during 2013 and 2014. Chapter 3 Section 2 Subsection 2 Allegations of Gender-Based Discrimination Scott Ard, a prominent editorial director, fired from Yahoo in 2015, filed a lawsuit alleging that Meyer encouraged and fostered the use of an employee performance rating system to accommodate management's subjective biases and personal opinions, to the detriment of Yahoo's male employees. He claimed that, prior to his firing, he had received fully satisfactory performance reviews since starting at the company in 2011 as head of editorial programming for Yahoo's home page, however, he was relieved of his role, which was given to a woman who had been recently hired. This case was dismissed in March 2018. An earlier lawsuit was filed by Gregory Anderson, who was fired in 2014, alleging the company's performance management system was arbitrary and unfair and disguised layoffs as terminations for the purpose of evading state and federal WARN Acts, making it the first WARN Act and gender discrimination lawsuit Yahoo and Maya faced in 2016. Chapter 3 Section 3 Sunshine After leaving Yahoo in 2017, Maya started Sunshine with former colleague Enrique Munoz Torres. The company is based in Palo Alto, and is focused on artificial intelligence and consumer media. On November 18, 2020, Maya announced that Lumi Labs would be rebranded as Sunshine at the same time as revealing its first product, Sunshine Contacts. Sunshine Contacts claims to improve the user's iPhone contacts and Google contacts using intelligent algorithms, contact data, public sources, and more. Chapter 4, Boards As well as sitting on the boards of directors of Walmart, Maisonette, and Jawbone, Maya also sits on several non-profit boards, such as Cooper Hewitt, National Design Museum, New York City Ballet, San Francisco Ballet, and San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. Chapter 5, Business Investments Maya actively invests in technology companies, including crowdsourced design retailer Minted, live video platform Airtime.com, wireless power startup Ubeam, online DIY community slash e-commerce company Brit Plus Co, mobile payments processor Square, 
Home Decor Site 1 Kings Lane, Genetic Testing Company Natera, and Nootropics and Biohacking Company Nootrobox. Chapter 6, Accolades Maya was named to Fortune magazine's annual list of America's 50 Most Powerful Women in Business in 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, and 2014 with ranks at 50, 44, 42, 38, 14, 8 and 16 respectively. In 2008, at age 33, she was the youngest woman ever listed. Maya was named one of Glamour magazine's Women of the Year in 2009. She was listed in Forbes magazine's list of the world's 100 most powerful women in 2012, 2013 and 2014, with ranks of 20, 32 and 18 respectively. In September 2013, Maya became the first CEO of a Fortune 500 company to be featured in a Vogue magazine spread. In 2013, she was also named in the Time 100, becoming the first woman listed as number one on Fortune magazine's annual list of the top 40 business stars under 40 years old. Maya made Fortune magazine history in 2013, as the only person to feature in all three of its annual lists during the same year, Business Person of the Year, Most Powerful Women, and 40 under 40 at the same time. In March 2016, Fortune then named Maya as one of the world's most disappointing leaders. On 24 December 2015, Maya was listed by UK based company Richtopia at number 14 in the list of 500 most influential CEOs. Maya appeared on the list of women CEOs of Fortune 500 companies in 2017 having ranked 498 of the top 500 Fortune 500 company CEOs. Chapter 7, Personal Life Maya married lawyer and investor Zachary Bogue on December 12, 2009. On the day Yahoo announced her hiring, Maya revealed that she was pregnant, she gave birth to a baby boy on September 30, 2012. Although she asked for baby name suggestions via social media, she eventually chose the name McAllister from an existing list. On December 10, 2015, Maya announced that she had given birth to identical twin girls, Marielle and Silvana. Maya is Lutheran, but she has said, referencing Vince Lombardi's Your God, Your Family and the Green Bay Packers that her priorities are God, family and Yahoo, except I'm not that religious, so it's really family and Yahoo.